And that Democrats are joining forces to take a bold stand against President Trump's pick to be education secretary. Yeah, they're holding a rare all-night marathon session tonight, hoping to convince one more Republican to vote against Betsy DeVos, which would defeat her nomination. So KCON 9 political reporter Dave Bryan has been... Uh, of course, following this story all day and has the late word on this on the latest here. Absolutely. They are working late in yeah. Washington tonight, not looking too promising for the Democrats at the moment. It's down to the wire tonight for Betsy DeVos, who faces that confirmation vote tomorrow in the Senate. Right now, it's looking like a cliffhanger. One vote either way could make the difference between her winning or losing the job of education secretary. And that's why the Democrats are working overtime tonight in the Senate, as you can see in this live shot from the Capitol, where it's just after midnight on Tuesday morning. You see they're still going strong. Mr. President, I rise today to speak about the nominee for the Department of Education, Ms. Betsy DeVos. I cannot vote for her confirmation. Senate Democrats are pulling an all-nighter in an attempt to convince one more Republican senator to vote against Betsy DeVos to become the next Secretary of Education. Well, we California Senator Kamala Harris joined the parade of DeVos senators. critics. It is clear from her testimony Betsy DeVos has not done her homework. And I say that right now, the Senate must do our job, we must do our homework, and we must refuse to confirm her as the next Secretary of Education. And DeVos's critics are carrying their protests to the streets outside some senators' home district offices, like this one at the office of Ohio Senator Rob Portman in Cincinnati, and he wasn't the only one. DeVos are lost. And at the Senate offices in Washington, the calls are piling up too. Good afternoon, Senator Susan Collins' office. CBS News reports the Senate switchboard was swamped with hundreds of thousands of calls. So he is not supportive of this nominee. And in some cases, videos with school children are being used in the campaign. We must oppose Betsy DeVos as Secretary of Education. The future pins on it. One of those leading that campaign to reject DeVos is South LA Congresswoman Maxine Waters, who told CNN Monday DeVos is a joke who doesn't know anything about education. She went to private school, the children went to private schools. Uh, she's all about doing away with public education. Uh, she has no experience, no background. President Trump chose DeVos because she's been a big supporter of school vouchers, which can be used to attend charter schools or private schools, a cause many Republicans support, like South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. The real debate is generations, generations of kids that are stuck in underperforming schools. Every Senate Democrat and two Republican senators have pledged to vote against her confirmation on Tuesday. And if one more Republican jumps ship, it appears she could go down in defeat. Otherwise, the vice president says he's standing by if his vote is needed. We're very confident that Betsy DeVos is going to be the next secretary of education. It'll be my high honor to cast uh, the deciding tie-breaking vote on the floor of the Senate. But Democrats charge DeVos's shaky performance in her confirmation hearing demonstrates how unqualified she is. It was one of the most embarrassing scenes I've witnessed during my time in the United States Senate. In fact, I believe it may have been one of the most embarrassing performances by a nominee in the history of the United States Senate. Now, by the way, if Vice President Pence does cast that decisive vote for DeVos, The Hill reports he would be the first vice president in history to cast a decisive vote in a 50-50 tie over confirming a cabinet nominee. How do you like that? Yeah, we'll certainly find <laughs> out what happens there. So what is at stake, Dave, for the Trump administration if DeVos is not confirmed? Well, there's plenty at stake, that, that's for sure. If DeVos loses the confirmation vote, it would be a setback and embarrassment of major proportions for the Trump administration because on a vote so important, if you would lose, that they would lose because some Republican senators would have voted against her, it would be outrageous, and the administration would get plenty of blame for not ensuring that she wins by reining in those defectors. Now, having said that, it appears DeVos will win the vice president, uh, a Pence uh, break, uh, tiebreaker. There are four Republican senators who were considered possible swing votes, but all four of them have now made it clear they will vote for DeVos's confirmation. So it's not impossible that another Republican would jump ship, but at this point it's considered highly unlikely, Lena.